Okay. All right, so today I'm going to talk about baseball. Baseball. How it began. People think a guy named Abner doubled it, created it, but they're not for sure. So um, it was created back in the late 1800s, so it's been played for almost 200 years now. Um, that's a basic setup of the field. If you don't know, pitchers pitch the ball. So the catcher, you got first base, you got the second baseman, shortstop, third base, left field, center field, and right field. Uh, the basic rules of the game is there's three outs per inning. Uh, each team gets to hit in an inning, and there's nine innings. Uh, the game is tied after nine innings. There are extra innings. And then there's usually two to three umpires at this level. At the next level, there's anywhere up to five to six to officiate the game. Double plays count as two outs on a play, and triple plays are three outs. They're really rare, so you won't see that too often. Scoring and base running. Uh, runners can reach base via the walk, hit by pitch, or base hit. Uh, runners must touch each base while running or else they will be tagged out. Four types of home runs are, you have the solo home run, which is one guy scores, you have the two run homer, the three run, and the grand slam, which is the most exciting play in baseball. You score four runs on one hit. Sliding into bases allows you to get there quicker. Uh, it allows the runner to stop their momentum and break up double plays. Uh, those are the different levels of baseball. We see T-ball, uh, Little League, high school ball, travel ball, college level. And then after you get drafted, if you get lucky enough to get drafted, you get a single A, double A, triple A, and then the majors. Proper hitting form, there's a lot that goes into hitting. That's Robinson Cano, one of the best hitters in the league. And uh, you always want your back foot to be pivoted towards the pitch. You always want your back leg going straight to provide you with power and torque. And so you can see the L shape that he has on his back side. And then he keeps his hands in, which allows him to get a lot of power. If I had to guess, that pitch was probably a home run because that's just a pitch of perfect swing. Proper fielding form. There's a lot that goes into fielding as well. You never want to throw the ball standing straight up. You always want to be bent, um, have your glove out in front, only throw the ball into your glove. So that's proper fielding form. MLB draft. Uh, you can go into the MLB draft after high school, or you can go to junior college. You have to spend two years there, and then you get drafted out of there, or three years at a uh, E1, E2, E3, or NAIA university that you can enter. Uh, each team has 40 draft picks, so there's a lot of kids that get drafted. Uh, there's 30 MLB teams separated by the NL and the AL, and uh, those are all the teams right there. Baseball seasons are typically eight months long if you count spring training. Uh, there's 162 game regular season, which is really long, and uh, the postseason, which is the playoffs, which is going on right now. That's actually this year's playoff bracket, and uh, how it works is there's a one-game wild card game, which the Astros won that, and they're playing the Royals right now. And uh, so the winner of that plays in a five-game series for the divisional round, and then goes into the league championship series. And the winner from the NL and the AL in those series played each other in the World Series. Um, at the end of the season, the MLB these are the awards for the best player, Cy Young, given the best pitcher, uh, Silver Slugger, gives the best hitter, Gold Glove, best defensive player, Rookie of the Year goes to the best rookie for each respective league, and then Manager of the Year goes to the best managers of that season. Sorry.